Hi, this is Philip from CodeCabinet.com and this is the introduction to Better VBA. Yeah, well actually this is the fifth video I record for the series. But after recording the first four I thought I should provide some sort of introduction to the whole series to, to um, kind of tell you in advance what this is going to be about. And um, you might ask, what is better VBA? You're writing code, it works. Isn't that good enough? And that is something, uh, a situation I encounter quite frequently if I visit clients, if I talk with other developers who are a little bit less experienced. Not necessarily less experienced in the, the number of years they, walk with, uh, they work with VBA, but um, they, they have hardly done um, any project in any other language. And um, what I noticed with those people working in VBA for a very, very long time, they tend to um, see their code, if it works, it's good. So um, they don't see any reason or, or any way to improve their code. And that is something I find a little bit sad because many developers get um, into the VBA projects by, by starting to, to teach themselves and do that by recording a couple of macros or um, copying some code from the internet and they, they just judge the quality of the code by the fact that it works and they think if it works the code must be good and well fair enough um, that is one of the important purposes of the code it should work there's no doubt about that but um, well I, I work on projects that are really huge that um, take many years to develop um, and that are developed in a team over a long period of time. There are ten thousands of lines of code and um, if you're working on projects of that size there is another measure of quality. It's not only that the code works, that's fairly easy to achieve but uh, there are other qualities like is the code readable because actually um, working on the code writing it is only a very small part of the time you spend working with code because if you have to debug the code later or change it later, adapt it, extend it then you need to read and understand the code and so it becomes much more important that code is readable in, in the long term and understandable by other developers who um, continue to maintain a project someone else uh, developed originally. And so you see several other factors of code quality and that are the factors I want to concentrate on. On readability, on maintainability, on extensibility and on um, of course on resilience is the code uh, working under conditions it was not originally expected to work or does it at least fail in a, in a sensible way not just by not working without any message or with a cryptic error message but with a message that provides the, the end user and the developer maintaining it with some sort of uh, usable hint what's going wrong here and how to uh, put that situation right and make the code work again. And um, there are lots of techniques to, to achieve that and that is what I want to talk about in the Better VBA series. How to write readable code and um, how to structure your code in a way that um, other developers can easily work with the code and extend it and fix bugs that are surely in there somehow. And um, that are topics I want to cover. And in the first four series, first four episodes I recorded already, there are 
pretty basic topics I cover, like uh, variable naming, like uh, using constants, like using enumerations, and of course the very first episode about the settings of the VBA environment. That is something that I would consider very, very basic. But still, I see developers that never thought about the readability of their code. They do not um, use those techniques I described there. So um, it might be you are a pretty experienced developer in, uh, in the time you spend working on VBA. But maybe you have never seen any other developer's code. You did not um, think about how to make your code more readable. And um, so you might not notice that, that your code can be improved. And that is something I want to address with this video series. And um, when, when we um, cover those basic topics, I've got topics in mind, but I'm not, not sure what exactly I'm going to cover, but uh, testability is something that is a very, very important topic for me. And not because I, I do it all the time, but because I fail to do it and I need to improve in that matter. And that is something where I want to explore different um, possibilities, different techniques in this VBA series and uh, show you what, what I learn in that moment. And um, whatever might come up in the future as topic to cover. So this is, is, uh, there's no fixed um, end for this series. I will cover whatever comes up. And um, I'm not doing this series because I think I'm the one who knows everything about it. I know a fair share about code quality because I've worked on lots and lots of projects and um, have seen different development styles, different uh, project uh, organization styles, lots of different things. And I think I can really teach you a little bit about that where I'm pretty sure I know the best practices. But there's a huge area of VBA development, where I've got an idea what might work, but um, I need to explore things and, and try them out on real projects if they actually improve the quality of the code and um, the, the end result for the customer. If it's really worth doing those techniques, I'm, I'm going to explore. And I really um, invite you to join me on this um, on this journey to better code. So uh, that's what this series is going to be about. Okay, um, yeah, and that is actually what, what I wanted to uh, talk about today. There's not going to be any code, so we are at the end of today's video. And um, thank you for watching, and I hope you will um, come back and uh, look at the other episodes of Better VBA. Thank you. Bye.